Daytona is one of those tracks that no matter how many times you go, I feel like you still get like goosebumps as soon as you get to the track. And I always get nervous, no matter what, like before that first lap, I always get a little bit anxious. All week, people have been asking me, like, are you nervous? Are you ready? And it didn't really hit me until I was driving through the tunnel. And to actually be here racing is kind of surreal. To be here for my first Arkham and Art Series start is uh, pretty insane. You know, this is the, I feel like the pinnacle of, of racing is racing here in Daytona. And uh, I'm super excited to, to be here. Years and years and years of dreaming about coming down here and racing. I still can't believe this is the life I get to live. It's a little bit different. You know, football has a Super Bowl at the end of the season. We have Daytona, you know, right here at the beginning. Last year was my first time racing here, and it really was a dream come true. But now we're in a super fast car, and I think we got a good shot at uh, winning here. Every time we come here, you know, there's always a chance that pretty much anybody could win this race. So just hoping that that's us by the uh, day's end on Saturday. I love the emotion that's tied to Daytona. No matter who you are, what series you're in, this is a place that, you know, you fulfill your dreams or you leave with a broken heart, and most often, it's the latter. Well, we are under caution here at Daytona for the second time. This is why. Just a, just a push gone wrong, a little bit off-center push onto the back of Scott Melton. Hard, hard contact into the outside wall. We had uh, a little more activity, I think, a, a wreck brewing even before the 69 got the wall. You look at the top, top right of your screen there, and uh, you're going to see you're going to see a black car get shuffled to the middle. I think this was a slingshot engaged moment. Didn't know he was quite not clear, and boom, that is Malcolm in the middle of three wide. <laughs> Frankie Munez, in other words. Yeah. Frankie Munez, yeah. He was he was going for a move, and I don't think he knew Del Cordelli was on his outside. And that other four car had Del Cordelli actually squeezed him back after after uh, Frankie was in the middle. We saw that engaged after that hard nose impact. He was able to get out of his car under his own power. Very almost frustrated. Looked like fuel. Almost looked like fuel, yeah. didn't it? Didn't look really like a flat an oil oh, fire. And he is so that's yeah. that's the feeling. I mean, you know you got a good race car and it's over. You can't do anything about it and it's a uh, it's just like that. thinking about and speaking of Frankie Muniz, he's in the thirty right here. We saw him this I, I, I'm speechless. We talked a lot about the youth versus the wisdom that's in the field today, and one. then for the season, really. Worked four years just to get there. With having that experience now out on the racetrack, what is the energy like out there? Well, up front it's a little bit crazy, but I mean that's just the nature of the beast here. I mean, there's so much air, and things are things happen really fast. But um, you can you, you you need to know how to how how to not run people over. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, I'm very frustrated. Thank you. Well, after that hard impact, I'm so glad to see Scott Melton walking under his own power and able to be frustrated, and you understand it. I mean, so much time, sweat, and tears went into building this race car. We'll step aside. More from Daytona. Clean up inside turn four. So, you know, the drivers are sitting on the back stretch, stopped right now. I want to make sure that they're awake. Should we check in with somebody? Yeah, let's, how, about, how about Andy J? Let's check in with him. Hey, Andy, Phil Parsons and the guys up in the Fox booth, you got a copy? Yes, sir, Phil, how are you? Good, buddy. That thing, that Wheeland car looks pretty fast today. You've been making some nice moves here. Uh, you got a plan? What's your plan? Are you running with anyone in particular? We're trying to work real hard with the 20, see if we can get something going here. So we're going to see what happens. Uh, we were making a little bit of headway there, and um, hopefully we get hooked back up here and try to make it work. So. Uh, I got my spotter, TJ Majors. He's kind of coaching me on the side draft and stuff, and uh, every one of my team's kind of helping me through it. So, um, yeah, we got a hot rod, man, uh, hoping to go to the front and be able to race for this thing at the end. You know, guys, we joke about the fact that your day job is delivering pizzas, and Austin Centric is up here with us, and he said if you win the race, will you make sure you get us some pizzas up to the booth? Uh, Bob and John's is about a thousand miles away, so I, I, you know it'd be a hefty tip. <laughs> well, we can handle that. We can handle that. But you're doing a great job, buddy. Keep it going. Thank you so much for everything you guys do. Hopefully, I'm talking to you later. Fine. So had to start in the back and said, I got an onboard, a great sponsor, and a fast race car. I'm going to put on a show. So she's already moved up 23 spots since they continue making repairs. We'll step aside. We'll be back and hopefully drop the green flag. You're yeah. in. That's a Gibson oh, cool. Capal. Yep, even slash, easier than that. Slash playing a no Gibson Capal. That's like a $250,000 guitar. That's big. 1960, the Holy What's Grail.
of electric guitars, Gibson Capals. It's perfect temperature. It was a little chilly this morning. Winds are still up, but this is the perfect day for racing. And hey, it's a double header. These drivers, they just had a, as, as, as Scott alluded to in his very animated interview and exit of his race. He has said he has better ways of spending his money. He didn't want to rewrap it, so he just took the three off, left the number four, took out the extra letters, and Daniel died <laughs> to spell out Dale. But he's making the most of this opportunity today and just having fun, looking to move forward. Back to it. We're going racing after this. After this. Sammy Smith, so, so exciting. Last year with six wins. Wasn't yet 18 years old, wasn't We are excited. Great Laster carrying the drive. We'll lead him down. from the third car we got Justine Murphy was letting somebody in didn't quite get to the gears or what but uh Lane as well. Yeah, only a couple cars out there in the outside line. You see Kitzmiller trying to side draft and try to stay up with Mosek. Really doing a nice job. He has a great pusher in Jesse Love and the 20 behind him. Kitzmiller hasn't let that 18 car get away. See what uh, see if Andy wants to go help uh, help his buddy Jesse Love or stay on the bottom. Some movement trying to find their dancing partners as you see cars jumping to the outside, cars dropping down to the bottom. That's one of the guys that the Venturini guys mentioned that they like to race with is Andy J. That he put a lot of trust in him. He let Jesse in. So he's closing up in that outside lane. He's Frankie Muniz. He's he's closing that gap and he's gonna get a lot of spots just by committing to that outside lane. So that was a good move. Gonna drive up behind the sixth of Jack Wood, Jack, all the way from the back of the pack. And at the start of this there, race. Too. Yeah. Together if any of us have a chance to win. Robbie Lyons, I saw him in a couple different talks obviously has a good car and, and others saw that as well i remember we would come to a place like here at talladega and buddy baker at the driver's introduction would come and shake hands with everybody he tried he tried to make oh, oh, oh. that's not going to end well jesse love trying to hold on to it jesse Ooh. love big impact Tim there Richmond, to really 27 of tim richmond hard into the wall we're under caution for the third time that's a big hit for tim richmond i don't think uh, jesse love got any got any contact there but uh yeah He's all right. That lap car needs to stay right against that double L line. It kept wobbling off a half a car width, and that's just too much here. This racetrack isn't that wide, and these guys are going by him so fast. Well, we saw the right way to do it when you're... I know where to go. The communication quite isn't there. Some people aren't quite aware on the outside what's happening. To what Sean Corr getting clear down here was really tight. Yeah, that's A.J. Mo Moyer in the 06. I think, I, think, uh, I think Jesse Love must have lifted, seeing how close that was, and uh, he just got bored with Jesse Love. So he had to lift there a little bit. Yeah, and, and it was just a nudge. I think just a nudge maybe by Andy J. And there you hear the tires going to fly. And that's at the toughest point in the corner. I mean, when you're... Big impact mm. for Tim Richmond. Dirt to Daytona. Baseball Daytona. <laughs> yeah. yeah. West Virginia Tourism is his sponsor and has a really beautiful paint scheme. It's right on top, blue on the bottom, but they have the scenics of West Virginia. Hey, the trees, six foot they four. Really nice Anybody job. can do this, man. 190 miles an People hour, say you got to be small to drive a race car. He told me That's the not true. Look at Joey Logano. His collegiate career was right here in Dayton. Good job covering that bottom lane, and uh, the outside lane's gotten formed up again. Kids Miller, we talked about that. That car does look really fast, and he's been able to pull this outside lane. Eric Cardell, he was 19th at the time. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a hard place to take a push just because the car's it's not heavily loaded into the banking like you would be in the corner and the car obviously isn't straight because you're in the middle of a turn so it's it's kind of the worst of both worlds an 18 degree banking as a driver it's, it's it seems flat 100 percent. it seems flatter than the straightaway i miss the gator being on there what happened to the gator being on there i love those drinks please have the gator Calypso on. taste of the islands three nascar regular season it gets underway right here for the the Goes around our pole rolling sitter. Here, rolling straight. There's nothing coming up. Wow, Get out of the grass. Wow. Keep wow. rolling out of the grass. Wow. Four-wheel action there. They're going to have to get the grass out of the grill of that car for sure. Yeah, Connor was running in the seventh spot. 
I don't see a lot of damage, so it's not a car, it's a in, put some tires on it. You have to imagine that that's got to be some contact from behind. I think it's been only half the laps well. that he's really had to run back there. See how he got knocked down. the there. first 25 laps of the see, race and well, see what happens. Fourth car on the inside. Oh, cool, yeah. Oh, yeah. Goodness. That was a four-car Dale Again. Porter lap. I think he pushed Connor, got him a little bit sideways, a little bit air, and then and then took a little momentum out of Connor, then he hit him harder. But Connor did a great job keeping that car straight. Straight. Fortunate the valence on that car didn't get ripped off. Um, should be in good shape as long as they can get all that. I mean, that's a ton of grass that that car was. You were talking about. <laughs> Jamie's there. Sucking right out there. Loves pizza. That's why he has a pizza helmet. So he's he's got uh, he's got. Damn lucky that car didn't roll over right there. Kyle Larson, Daniel Suarez, just kind of good. Those guys just kind of good. They moved up. All Cup Series winners too. Yes. Yeah. And then there's a long list of people as you mentioned. The turn three. Still struggling to get formed up there with the, the 15 and 55. And that's the Jason White from Canada in the 44 car. We had both Jason Whites in the field last night for the truck race. Virginia's Jason White as well as Canada's Jason White. I like how you call the other Jay White. Jay White, yes. Just so there's no confusion. <laughs> Jay's still hanging on. Look at that Going great up speed. Right oh, you're lying. Oh, God, you're lying. Looking good here on the apron. Looked like the 55 of Tony oh, Riding are with issues. Hey, well, she did a great job saving that car. The one of them's got the tire going down. Looks that's, like that. something's wrong with her car. Yeah, no, it looks like Kitz Miller Kitz Miller has a flat tire or, or some smoke or some sort. Leading this race here. We just talked about him a few moments ago. Now he has... Dude, you just gas down, turn it left, but you realize when you come to a track like this, we talk... <laughs> just went right. You really get a feel for the banking. How severe the banking is when he tried to go up. It's got to be what you said. I mean, it kind of just had to, had to jump on the brakes, but uh, yeah, so that was what we Dale Earnhardt. So, she probably was winning 170 miles an hour. Probably. It's it's a good good contact there. Oh, Andy Jim Kowiak, you see the debris fly off the back of his race car. I cannot believe we didn't just have a caution. Wow. That was that was a great save uh, by Amber. She looked like she got really loose. Look at Jason White on the move in the 44 on the outside. Andy oh. Jay still got issues. Look at the Jason White and Amber Balkan, but the damage right in front of her had already happened. But maybe Andy get a little contact. It's so so critical arrow wise. It's really soft now too, so it's probably going to cause a tire rub. That causes all about Ayla just the Lamar air. The Scott air with the car. Continues to lead Jason Love just like and that. the 18 of Connor Mosack on the outside. They both had their issues, but they're in contention. Yep, second pack caught up. Oh, oh, oh no! Ways. There goes Dale Quarterly around in the floor. They were getting squirrely. I don't know how Greg Van Alst hung on to it, but Dale Quarterly oh, spins the beat. Oh, the corner. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at those marks right through that beautiful grass. Let us get in the game, trying to win this race today. Going to restart with... 44 right now, Jesse Love trying to close the gap on the outside with LeVar Scott. This is a little bit crippled by that damage to the left front. Here comes the rest of the pack. Outside Jack Williams is going to make it three wide. He is. Jack's going to jump to the outside in the sixth car. Really good time to do it. I'm, oh, wow. Well, three Rose. by three by three. three. Oh, Jack up. Wood. Jack Wood started in the back, fought his way back. He's had some contact. Hasn't given up. He's a rev racing car as well. We have two laps to go here. Two, even two laps to go here at Daytona. Keep these cars straight. Still three wide here. Three it's wide. going to take, uh, take a lot of help away from the from the top lane. See, Jesse Love's having a tough time getting to the back of uh, LeVar Scott. Jack Wood jumped in behind Amber Balkin. Big push from the 35 car. And off pushing the 44. If you're the 35 car, you're trying to get yourself clear to where you can take the run. Not going to have enough great side draft from LeVar Scott oh. to keep the lanes even. I think he did that all by himself, keeping keeping that outside in the game. Jack Wood drops in on that top line. Here we go. White we flag out. about to be displayed. Once we get the white flag, that's so if you're, Connor off, if you're trying if you're trying to get the run off the nose of the 18. And if you're if you're Jason White, you're just ready to block it because you know the runs are gonna be coming. Right now the bottom's already not very organized and have to generate another run. Your, your only other opportunity is going to be coming off of turn four. It's all Jason White right now, but here comes Greg Van Alst. 
ducks out, gets alongside. Their nose to nose. Greg Van Alls to the lead. Connor Mosak comes with him. Out of turn four. They're wrecking behind him. He does it. Greg Van Alls wins it at Daytona. That's a great job. Great way to time out the run, be able to be there. He was up front the entire race. Had a fast car. Congrats. It is sure. Are you sure we won? Indiana built his career, built his business, and now here he is, and he is a full-time driver going for the championship, and he just won it at Daytona. I think we're right, Phil. That that move of the race was was for the win. Yes, for Greg Van the lead. Yes. You guys, great you job. It. So happy for somebody like that. I can't wait to see this interview. Yeah, he's gonna be so you, excited. You know, you could tell he was it, it was in tears. Let's see how it was done. Unfortunately, Jason just missed the block there. You see, he faded one again up to, to cover it. And, uh, the 18, he was so lucky the 18 went with him. He could have chose either lane. 18, probably his best chance to win the race was following the 35 through. And um, yeah, it's a per perfectly timed moment and was able to, to hold off. You heard the spotter tell him the 18's going with you. Has, has helped him get to this point, but you mentioned he Woo! had a black car at the test yeah, and said, hey, we need